All right, so uh, again, having problems recording these in my tablet. So I'm trying the document camera here. This is their homework for tonight and classwork, 7.2 part two, page started on page 306, 36 to 48, 54, 57 to 61. Uh, yesterday's lesson didn't record, so uh, I'm going to just give some real quick examples. Um, so here we have P subtracting 9.5 equals 11.5. And so you, to solve for a variable, solve to figure out what the variable is, you want to get the variable by itself on one side of the equation. And so, uh, Miss Russell, what's happening to the P in this problem? What's happening to the P in this problem? Right. And so to solve for a variable in an equation, you want to get the variable by itself. So you do the opposite of what's happening to it. So what's the opposite of subtracting 9.5? So we're going to add 9.5. Okay. And whatever you do on one side of the equation, you do on the other. So I'm going to add 9.5. Okay. And, um, and it, we went over this at length yesterday, but again, the video didn't record. So they cancel out. We're left with P equals, and then we need to add 11.5 and 9.5. So 0.5 and 0.5, zero carry the one that's 12. So it's going to be 21.0 or if somebody just put 21, that's fine. So we've solved for that. So put up 50 points there. And I should pull sticks. Uh, next one um, is Z minus 3 equals 21. Miss Werner, walk me through solving this one. Right. Right. So this Z is subtracting 3. So we do the opposite to get the variable by itself. And whatever you do on one side of the equation, you do on the other. What happens to the threes? They cancel out. We're left with Z equals what? 24. Okay. Um, 50 points. Next one. We've got N plus 46 equals 56. Miss Gossage, you're up. So what's happening to the N? Hurry up. Okay, so uh, what's happening in the end is we're adding 46, so we're going to subtract 46, and whatever you do on one side of the equation, you do on the other. The 46 is cancel out. We're left with N equals, and 46 from 56 is 10. All right, next one. Uh, Mr. McCourt's not here. Mr. Rainbow, walk me through this here. What's happening to the Q? Okay, we're adding 50 to the Q, so we need to do the opposite to get the variable by itself. So we're going to subtract 50. Whatever you do on one side of the equation, you do on the other. The 50s cancel out. We're left with Q equals, and that's going to be 20.2. All right, so that's a very quick Reader's Digest version of what we went over yesterday. So um, let's look at a couple of the problems that I've assigned you guys for three or 7.2 part two. Let me look at this here. Um, so I had a sticky note. There it is. So I'm going to look at 30, I think it was 37. All right, you guys look at 37 for a moment. It says a number K has increased by uh, 7 is 34. A number increased by 7 is 34. All right. So uh, the number, we don't know what K is. So we're going to put down K and it's increased by 7. All right. So Miss Ryan, how would I write K being increased by 7? Yeah, just K plus 7. And it equals what? Equals 34. Okay. Now, it also tells you to solve it because it says write the word sentence as an equation. So we've done that and then solve it. So how would we solve it? Um, you would, since K, or 7 is being added to K, you would do minus 7 under the 7 and then minus 7 under the 34. 
So whatever you do on both sides, on, on one side of the equation, you do on the other. They cancel out. Twenty-seven. Very good. All right. So that's how you do uh, 36, 37, 38, 39. It gave 37 to you. The other one I want to look at real quick is 47. Whoops, is 47. Um, 47, 47. So they're asking, looks like for per perimeter. And it says in that one, that particular shape, the perimeter uh, equals 130, what is it, 132 inches. All right. Um, and they, they give us a shape here, and it looks um, something like this. Not perfect. And then they give us, thank you, they give us the sides. This is 34 inches. This is 16 inches. And this is also 34 inches. And then this side is X. So if you had to, to solve what the perimeter is in this particular shape, uh, well, actually, you don't have to solve for the perimeter. You know what it is. They gave it to you. It's 132. You need to solve for X. So um, let's look at it this way. Uh, let's write um, X plus 34 plus 16 plus 34 equals what? 132. Okay. Now, don't forget the inches, but I'm not going to worry about with each one of these. So, <clears throat> let me pull a stick here. Uh, Mr. Leboutier, look at this for a moment and tell me what is happening to the X. Yeah, it's getting added by 34, added by 16, added by 34. So, if I wanted to get X by itself, what would I do? Yeah, so um, well, let's just go ahead and add 34 and 34 and 16. 6 and 4 is 10 plus 4 more is 14. Carry the 1. 6, 7, 8, 84. So I could rewrite this as X plus 84 equals 132. Now you guys should be writing this down here because this is how to do number 47, which is going to help you understand how to do 46 and 48. All right. So, Mr. Leboutier, you had the right idea, but now that I've rewritten it and simplified it, how would you do it? Minus 84. Okay, so also subtracting 84, whatever you do on one side of the equation, and it's an equation you do on the other. They cancel out. We're left with X equals, so 132, subtracting 84. Okay, so I'll let you guys figure what that is, and that's your answer to number 47. Questions on that, you guys? No questions? Okay. All right, um, showed you guys what I wanted you to do. Where'd that sheet go? Here it is. Did a couple of them for you, so it's uh, page starting on page 306, 36 through 48, 54, and then 57 to 61. So I'm going to end this video.